Hey guys welcome back to another video to I will be showing you my very early predictions for the new Premier League season. If you enjoy please like and subscribe. Here is the three teams I predict will get relegated this season. To finish bottom I think will be Sheffield United. The club is in a mess right now they didn't even have enough money to pay promotion bonuses. It looks like players such as Ndiaye and Burge will be leaving too so I don't think they'll have a great window and probably will finish rock bottom. Also just like many other people I think Luton will go down. They don't have a Premier League squad in the slightest and will probably not do much business and won't strengthen much therefore I think they will be relegated back down. Bournemouth as well I believe got lucky with survival this season but with the increase in competition in the Premier League they will not survive again. It's important to remember these predictions are done before window opens so they may change after I see the team's new squad after signings are made. Burnley I think have a huge project going on right now and the future looks very bright for them so I think they'll survive relegation but get no higher than mid-table. Same with Forest, they will probably go to the final games to clinch survival once again. As with Everton I've seen a lot of people say that after two seasons of scary last-minute survivals this will finally be the year they go down but I don't think that will be the case. At the moment there is many teams worse than them in turn. The first big shock in this list is that I think Brentford will have a really disappointing season and end up finishing 14th. They will not have Tony for the whole first half of the campaign and that will be a big struggle. West Ham and Wolves will both have similar seasons to what they have had recently and end up finishing mid-table. Another shock is that I think recently Europa League qualified Brighton will finish 11th in my opinion. I think they will have a second season syndrome and won't cope with the fixture congestion with the inexperienced small squad they have. Palace have only managed top half once in their 11 season stay in the Premier League but I predict this will be the season they do it again. If they keep hold of talent like Eze, Elise, Zaha, Gaye and continue where they left off they will be a team to watch out for. Fulham will also I believe have another similar season with Mitrovic leading the line. I predict a ninth place finish for them. Chelsea have had a shocking season but they are the type of team to always find a way to improve however I still don't feel they'll make Europe again. An 8th place finished for them next season. As for Villa they are probably the most exciting team last season and will remain that status going into next season and reach 7th place. Liverpool are another team with a disappointing finish just missing out on Champions League but I just don't see them making a comeback next. Moving up to the team that will just finish outside top 4 I think that team will be Tottenham. They might lose Kane which would probably move them down the list but at the moment they are good enough to keep getting Europa League in my opinion. Newcastle and Arsenal have had amazing seasons and I think they will continue that and get Champions League again. United are my dark horse for next season they have been ridiculed as of late but I think Ten Hag has something special up his sleeve and they will challenge for the title. As for the winners it is no surprise that Man City are huge contenders to get a fourth title in a row. Holland will continue scoring loads and it will be another great season for the Blues. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and I will bring you more videos like this. It means a lot to me. Thank you and bye.